Okay, so I am doing a little mini grocery haul. <laughs> Um, it's just a few items I need for some yummy treats that I like to make. So, I'm going to take you along and show you what I'm getting and then what I'm going to make. <laughs> and it got really freaking cold and rainy all of a sudden. And I'm wearing this. It's okay. I guess I just got to grow a pair. Deal with it. <laughs> Hi. So I come in here and the store is closing. They're turning off the lights. So we're gonna quickly get some stuff. I'm gonna show you what I'm getting. I like the bulk aisle. Got almond meal. And I got this one. Two. But I don't know which one I like better. This one because it's more ground up. I couldn't decide which one I liked better, so I got them both. <laughs> Big thing of honey. I think it's empty. <laughs> Is that all I'm going to get? I didn't realize that the, that they it's sunrise natural foods I didn't realize that they closed at 7 <laughs> so I just ran in there I'm like what's up and then the lights start going off so I had to rush and get my the rest of my items so we got um, a couple other things that I got here I find it. so I got the big thing of honey and then I got the raw coconut butter Raw coconut butter. And I love it. I just had a couple of uh, my followers recognize me sitting in my car or walking to my car and they came up and they wanted to say hi and meet me and take a picture so you know who you are. Hi. <laughs> but um, it was super cute. I love meeting all my followers and like how excited you guys are. Makes me excited. All right. <laughs> Next in the bag, I have the Enjoy Life Dark Chocolate Morsels. These are so amazingly good. And then, oh, that wasn't kind of on the list for my snacks, is this guy here. Barley water, lemon flavor. Thought I'd give it a try out. So it looks like, wow, it's got like zero everything. It just has nine grams of sugar. 10 grams of carbs. We'll try this out. <laughs> We're gonna taste this, so you're gonna try it out with me. Let's see the stuff in the bottom. <laughs> it's kinda scary. <sighs> wow, it actually tastes really good. It tastes like lemonade, like, and not as sweet kind of nice I like that so this is what I got <laughs> pretty good so now we're gonna head home I'll show you what we're gonna make Meet you. so I'm home first, first thing you do you hear him is the puppy ritual. Bring them out to go potty. <laughs> Bringing your crew. <laughs> hey, pup. 
puppy noses. Hi, Crew. You're the one that gets crated because you chew everything up. Hi, you guys ready to go potty? Oh yeah. Up and out to go potty. Out the door. Let's go. Come on, put it down. Come on here. Let's go potty. Let's go outside. Go, go, potty. Let's go. Yes. Hey, go on TV. What are you doing? Just running around like a maniac. <laughs> what are you doing out there? Oh. <laughs> You are like one <laughs> oh, They love it when you come home. What are you doing, crew? Hi! My pal! <laughs> My pal, come here, what are you doing? What is that? Hi, what is it? What do I have? What is Keela doing? Just being a mountain goat. <laughs> uh, oh, that was my knee. Jeez. You are crazy. Honey! Oh, look, you got a stick. What do you got there? That's a big stick. <laughs> you dropped your stick. You ready for nummies? Ready for the nummies? Let's go eat. Come on. Yay! They know what time it is. <laughs> Crew, you need to slow down, buddy. Oh my god. Can't let it get away, right? <laughs> oh god. The package just arrived from Six Pack Fitness. I wonder what's in there. Expose your six pack. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, what's in here? Oh, it's the Innovator Mini. Ooh, cute. Another bag. It's got six packs on it. <laughs> Can never have enough of these. This handy dandy little thing. Ooh, meals go in there. Some meals there, right? Whoa. It's got like four meals you can hold in this thing. Holy crap. I didn't know that. This thing is sweet. It'll be awesome to use this little guy. Mm -hmm. What do I got, crew? You don't like the box? Get it. Keela knows what it is. She likes it. Oh yeah. She likes the boxes. Crew, are you scared of it? <laughs> so Keela is... <laughs> you get the box. Yeah. <laughs> you get it, Keela. You get it, Kiki. You get it! <laughs> she says it's mine. <laughs> She's got this thing down. <laughs> Are you scared, little muffin? Are you scared of it? You don't know what she's doing. town <laughs> okay so we are gonna begin this now so we're ah! back so my items we got vanilla extract um, raw cocoa butter it doesn't have to be this brand it can be any brand because it's coconut butter it doesn't matter <laughs> um, almond meal flour I liked this consistency of this one better um, than the other one because this one is more is really fine like ground down so I think it creates like a better like dough type 
texture. So I liked using that one by Bob's Red Mill. And then a whole lot of honey, but we only used a little bit of that. And we've got the, just the maple syrup. I've gotten this from Costco. And then I like to use Enjoy Life brand, um, the dark chocolate or the milk chocolate or even any of the chocolates. Um, for those who have nut or uh, gluten allergies, this is all dairy, nut, soy free, and gluten free. So these are really nice to use for those and they're just good. Okay, so, Hi. so we are going to make something yummy. Okay, so we're going to start with the almond meal that I got. So I think I'm going to use this one versus the bulk one I got. chocolate chips and put them in this guy here. I like to chop these babies up. Something like that. Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> yeah? I like to get these babies chopped up really small, as you can see. Let's do mix, mix it in. All right, this is what it's looking like so far. Mmm, does not look good. Looks like cookie dough. And it is like raw cookie dough. So we're going to make little balls, put them on there, put them in the freezer for like five or ten minutes. Mmm. You can see that they are firm just by in there for a little bit. Stuck. So now they're yummy balls of goodness. <laughs> mm. I'll probably have like all of them. <laughs> I don't want to save any for Zach. <laughs> He's so mad at me because he loves these. Just one more. One more. prepping some chicken so I put about I have five chicken breasts left so I need to go grocery shopping really bad <laughs> so it's from Whole Foods so it's the garlic and herb vegetable seasoning mix I love this one it's by far my favorite so I poured that in there pouring, pouring some water on top and then we're going to simmer it cook it to cook some turkey I just get this uh, brand from Costco get it in bulk so I already had this in the freezer so we're just gonna pop this baby in there and get it and cook this baby this is cooking too 
So I'm going to do about 30 minutes of cardio because I haven't done much lately and I kind of need to do a little bit because I'm going to be going out of town next week. I kind of need to be a little bit prepared for that. So, yeah, <laughs> got to step up my cardio game. And I'm going to be watching a movie. It's Ringo. <laughs> I love cartoon movies. Disney, Pixar, any of that. I mean, so I'm going to watch this while I do 30 minutes of Stairmaster. <laughs> Alright, so we're up on Stairmaster. We're going to get started. 30 minutes. Okay, everybody. Let's take it from the top. The stage is set. The stage of my vengeance. The stage of my Alright, turkey's cooking. I added oregano and basil and some chopped onion and garlic. So I'm mixing that all in there. Turkey, turkey, turkey! Mm. Okay. I put the chicken into a bowl and shredded it up so it's all ready for meal prep. Some more meal prepping, so I'm going to be making coconut flour pancakes. So I got some of my ingredients here. I'm just going to start with two eggs, one banana. We're going to Mix it up, smash it together real well in the air, and then we'll add some maple syrup for some flavor, for some sweet flavor, with some vanilla extract and some baking soda to give some fluffiness. the coconut flour pancakes and some uh, potatoes under there, under there. turkey some ketchup and then we got that chicken and quinoa I haven't finished that one yet this is what a typical night looks like when I put meals together mm. and I like to use a food scale so it goes in ounces and grams to weigh out my food so this is the start of a meal prep so most of the stuff that I've had already pre-cooked so it's all ready for me to put meals together so this is what the final products are looking like each are measured out specifically according to pre-workout, post-workout, and then all the other meals the other times. So we're constantly getting protein and carbs and fats, fuel throughout the day. Never just stops. <laughs> Always eating. And after meal prep, making my last meal, we got um, spinach omelet filled with lots of avocado. So I'm going to have this before I go to bed. Yummy.